All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to update your computer to Windows 8.1. Yes, this is official. This is from Microsoft. So I'm going to have a link in the description. I'm going to get there real easily by going to twitter.com slash my Twitter. And then we're going to go to one of my very many tweets um, right here. And it's going to take us to The Verge. And The Verge has a very, very nice little link right here that launches this right here. And then all we've got to do is click download, and it's at 3.62 gigabytes. So depending on your internet connection, that might take a little bit, so be prepared to wait. I'm on a very good connection, so it won't take that long. I'm just waiting for this little bar to stop flashing at the top of our screen here and I've got to update my wife's desktop I just updated my G750JX now I'm updating my other um, computer and now I've got to also update my Asus X202E so I've got four computers total you're gonna see this you're gonna stare at it for a little while uh, depending on your connection I'll look at that you can see it moving 11% 12% Oh, when you hover, it doesn't actually update while you're hovering. You've got to do it again. So 13, okay. Okay, so we're going to go back to this, and we're going to check on... Oh, come on. Did it really just... Okay, so we're not able to see the progress anymore, because apparently it kicked me out of that. There we go. Okay, now we're back. And it's downloading. Oh, and if you're curious... The time is currently 1019 Central Time, Thursday, October 17, 2013. Why do you keep kicking me out of that? Stop it. I want to see the progress. All right, sweet. We've moved from downloading to installing. So you can see the time again. It is currently 1020. So I have very fast internet. So this, I'll tell you what, you people don't realize how, <laughs> go on, go back, go back to that thing. All right. People don't realize how important, uh, well, no, no cancel. People don't realize how important fast internet is. Like, Oh, okay, that's why my speed. My modem's currently letting me know that it's having network difficulties. I'm still online, it's just not as fast. When they stay when they, they stay lit blue, both download and upload, it means I'm getting my full 120 down, 25 up. But whenever they're flashing, it's letting me know that that's not happening anymore. So Comcast, probably the only person in this area with that crazy, crazy speed. But anyways... People don't realize how fast internet is, like how important it is. Like, for instance, my dad up wanted, he saw how fast my computer boots up with an SSD. And, you know, the moment I see my desktop, I can launch Chrome or Firefox or anything and it just loads instantly. No delay, no stutter, no waiting, nothing. And uh, so he finally upgraded to an SSD. And whenever we ran the Samsung Magician software to migrate his HDD over to an SSD, the Windows 7 installation didn't boot up like it had an issue. So I went and downloaded an, an official Windows 7 ISO home premium 64 bit from Microsoft's website. And it took like three minutes. And then I had that transferred over to a USB 3.0 flash drive, which took just a few seconds. And then I put it in his computer. I booted into Windows 7 repair mode where it restores the, if it's not booting up, it'll restore that and everything worked as planned. If I didn't have internet like I have right now, he would have been late for work and he's in the military. So that couldn't have, you know, that wouldn't have been good at all, especially when you're a captain and <laughs> you're, you do what he does every day. So if it hadn't been for my internet speed, you know, he would have either had to leave his laptop with me and come back later on. 
and then he wouldn't have been able to work because he uses that at work. It's just fast internet is important. It really is. Now I'm going to shut up, fast forward to this until we get to the good stuff. All right, we're getting close to the end. Sorry about that. Every time it wants to go back to the other screen, and I gotta click download again, and I gotta. It's just freaking. It's freaking hell of annoying. It's, it's not cool at all. All right, so we're almost done here. We're just gonna let it do it. It was almost done. <laughs> Come on, go away. I'm capturing all my faster computer because I didn't want my my other my X two zero two E it's you know it's just a dual core four gigs of RAM it's, it's kind of it's you know it, it it'll browse web pages and it'll you can watch videos in ten eighty p on YouTube it does everything fine but it's just not this fast all right so there we go bam this is what we wanted to see uh, press restart now. And it's going to restart, and it's going to install Windows 8.1. Uh, pretty excited about that because I've played with the Windows 8.1 preview thing. I did a video months ago on how to install the preview, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of doing it again. But this is the full from Microsoft, not beta. It'll get updates. If there's something that's messed up or people don't like, it'll get better. And I know you're staring at a blank screen while my computer decides to reboot here. And come online, please. It is turning back on. Okay, so my laptop went to a setting up screen. And this, this thing irritates me. All right, we finally got a freaking thing on the screen. This thing is frustrating me. It won't show the BIOS in VHDMI. It won't show the whole setting up thing VHDMI. This thing is really irritating. I can't use it the way I want to use it. All right, we're finishing up here. Sorry about the whole thing. Like, it rebooted, and it said setting up, and that was the blank screen, and it went to 100% or whatever, and then it switched to the thing. So, shouldn't have any more problems like that. Sorry about that. All right, sweet. We have Republic of Gamers setting up a few more things. Are we almost there yet? I feel like a child in the back seat. Are we there yet? <laughs> All right, now you have to go here and accept this little thing. And then I hit use express settings. And next, you'll set up your account. Now, here's something I thought with Windows 8.1 that was mandatory. I thought you had to have an account. So check this out. You know how here it says create a new account? Just type like josh at gmail.com and then type like i don't know monkeys m-o-n-k-e-y-s and then hit next and it'll say error and it'll say use existing account or or create local account if you're starting windows 8.1 from scratch it'll say create local account and I do that because I don't like having my email address all over my computer every time I take a screenshot or do a video or something Depending on the speed of your computer, this may take a little bit of time, or it may take a long time. We're using a quad-core i7 with hyper-threading, so eight virtual cores, and tons of RAM, and SSD, and we're using a pretty, you know, decent little machine here, and it's probably going to take a lot more time on my little dual-core X202E. But yeah, see, look, I talked, I filled in the blank spots, it says let's start. Alright, you know how you normally see this screen right here every single time, and you have to hit Windows D to get to the desktop, or click on one of the apps? Check this out, we're going to go down here to the tab, and let's unpin Internet Exploder. The only thing Internet Exploder is good for is downloading Firefox or Chrome. So, unpin, unpin, unpin. 
All right, so check this out. You've got a start button, and it usually does that right there. I'm going to show you how to change that before I end this video. Right click on your taskbar, hit properties, go down here to navigation, and this is how I set up mine. You can make yours differently. Um, when I sign in, show the desktop. Show my desktop background on start. Show start on display when I'm pressed the Windows logo key. Show the apps view immediately when I switch to Windows. And when I search from the app view, I want it to only search for my apps. So I'm going to uncheck that and list desktop apps first. In the apps view, it's sorted by category. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply. Okay, now when I hit this, look at this. There's my desktop. There's everything on my desktop. It's all Asus. And I can just go like, hmm, I want to launch Paint. There we go. Paint. And check this out. We're going to go ahead and restart this machine right now. And I'm going to show you what happens when you press restart and it restarts. You'll see here in just a second. Check how cool this, this is what, uh, there's workarounds on Windows 8, but most of them mess things up. And with this, it shouldn't mess it up. There you go. How beautiful is that? That was a full restart. That was a full restart from scratch. So task manager, more details, performance. And there you go. This is my other, my other one has 24 gigs. This one only has 16. Um, but yeah, that's freaking, dude. Seriously, that's awesome. All right, there's our apps. There's our apps. That's that's just that's awesome. It really is. Let's let's do this one more time, and then I'll end the video. I promise. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, please do so. That's how you'll stay up to date on what I'm working on. I tweet a lot, so you'll have to um, hopefully either not follow me, unfollow me, or live with the fact that I tweet a lot. Uh, I post on Facebook. Less often, but most of the time it's more important things. Sometimes it's not, but most of the time it is. I also have a Vine and Instagram that I post to a lot. And I have a gaming channel, which I just uploaded two videos yesterday. And I also have a second channel that I don't use as often as I should. So all those will be in the description below. But check how awesome that is! That's our freaking desktop! Our beautiful desktop. It's awesome. No more freaking pressing Windows D. And if we press the if we press the start button on our keyboard, look at that. Look at that. That's just ah. Uh, I want to launch the calendar or calculator. Yes, this is just wow. Why is there two calculators? I guess one's for the ASUS and one's for the the dude. That's freaking. That's just that's awesome. All right. If you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe i do videos on multiple different things android windows i do a lot of different videos and they're all tech related and if you enjoy that please make sure you don't leave this video without hitting that subscribe button if you're new here this is what would josh do and i'm out